asked to give this talk about momentum, I really wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about. I'm an internal medicine resident with just two days left of my internal medicine residency program. I suppose the path of a doctor is a good example of what momentum means with its unremitting schedule, with its constant forward motion towards becoming an independent physician. But I didn't feel like that example was that relatable. Outside of medicine, I also participate in volunteer work. I volunteer at a local soup kitchen, and I also travel for medical missions. I started thinking about what it must take to keep, gain momentum to keep these things going, and what it must have required to get them started. In physics, we learn that momentum is a product of mass times velocity. I would argue that in community service, there's a slightly different equation. It's mass times velocity plus one more essential element, passion. In 1983, Pat O'Connor, a mother of nine, and Michael Moran, a then a chaplain at Hofstra University, brought a group of students to Brooklyn to, uh, to volunteer at a soup kitchen. He then returned home and realized that there was a great need within his own community. So he placed an advertisement, and 30 people responded. That one great idea gained enough momentum to develop 14 different soup kitchens in 21 different locations in Nassau and Suffolk County called the IN, the Interfaith Nutritional Network. During my intern year, I was lucky to find the Patchogue Inn Soup Kitchen and become a regular volunteer. Here, a tireless group of core volunteers come in day in, day out, and prepare breakfast to Long Island's hungry and homeless. These volunteers are unpaid, they have their own jobs, they have their own families, and they have their own lives. Yet they somehow keep this soup kitchen up and running every single Saturday, rain or shine, even through the hurricanes and the blizzards here. I asked a couple of the volunteers over the weekend, how do you keep this momentum going? How do you keep coming in every Saturday to serve breakfast to strangers. One of the core volunteers told me, she laughed. Momentum, who needs momentum? These strangers are now my family, and my family needs to eat. She said they don't really have a hard time developing momentum and keeping it because there is a constant and growing need in this community. Mass times velocity plus passion equals momentum. Just one person and one great idea gained momentum and created a network of soup kitchens that now serve so many individuals in this community. A Promise to Peru, an organization here at Stony Brook that sends doctors, nurses, medical students to St from Stony Brook to Peru gained uh, started from, some, from very similar beginnings. Kuba Tatka, a uh, once Stony Brook student, went to Peru with this, with this idea to go on a mission trip and also to learn Spanish. When he returned, he brought this idea back to Stony Brook. He recruited other medical students. The next year, more students went. With the help of Dr. Shanley, this became an annual mission trip. That one great idea eventually developed into an independent nonprofit organization called A Promise to Peru. Dr. Deborah Messina, a Stony Brook ophthalmologist and co-founder of this organization, when she came to Peru was shocked when she saw a lot of elderly people being led by their family members because they were blind from cataracts, something that is completely curable here. This shock was the impulse that gained momentum and created the cataract surgery mission. Since 2011, it's stuck. Since 2011, there have been 200 or 2,100 eye exams performed. 
going now. There we go. And 5,000 pairs of eyeglasses, of prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses have been distributed. Over 200 sight-restoring eye procedures have been completed. And around 7,000 patients have received essential medical services. Passion, sorry, mass times velocity plus passion equals momentum. Here, just one medical student had one great idea, and he shared this idea, and it gained enough momentum to develop a project that turned into an organization in an annual trip that has brought back sight to almost 200 people. Bringing it back here to Stony Brook, a small group of medical students got together with one great idea, to develop a student-run healthcare clinic to empower and provide health to those underserved in the Suffolk County community. The Stony Brook Health Outreach and Medical Education Program, also known as SB Home, opened its doors in 2008. I asked a few of the medical students, how do you keep this motivation going? How do you keep it going to go every single Sunday? One student, Jay Chudow, explained to me, this past weekend, I was able to empower one of my patients to take control over his medical condition so that he could live longer and achieve the highest quality of life. I feel like I really made a difference in this person's life, and it's that feeling that keeps the momentum going. Another medical student, Kiram Odakan, explained to me that SB Home teaches him to become a better doctor. It also exposes him to some of the barriers that patients face when trying to access health care. With his interest in health policy, this, uh, this experience pushes him to work towards a more equitable health care system. Since uh, this past year, Stony Brook Medical Home has seen 264 patients and 114 new patient visits. Around 60% of medical students have participated in SB Home. Clearly, this is one of the many best ideas in medicine here at Stony Brook. Mass times velocity plus passion equals momentum. All of these projects have one common thread. It was just one person, one passionate person, with one great idea and they shared that idea and it gained momentum that projected their projects forward. I leave you with this. Figure out what your passion is and tell someone. Put yourself out there since you never know what could possibly come from that idea. It could send you on a trajectory where the possibilities are endless. Thank you.